Hi everyone, I'm James from Jamcom IT Consults. Good to see you again and today's task we are going to write some code using C Sharp. I received a question someone wanted us to try and develop the Windows calculator using C Sharp. If you also have a question, feel free to log on to our website jamkom that is jamcom.com and uh, contact us and send us a question. We might be able to tackle the question right here. Before I go very far, I would like to pull up the Windows calculator and show you how it looks like. Uh, this is how it looks like. And um, our first task will be creating these controls, putting them onto our form. And then uh, be able to click a button here. When you click the button, you should be able to send the digit onto this other control, which could be a label or a text box. So let's go ahead and uh, get our controls you double click I'll double click a button and then it comes up here uh, I need to change it and uh, its size and then some properties maybe I need to change its text property right here and make it one then copy the same button and paste it several times uh, copy this and paste I'll change the property to two, paste again, put it somewhere there, change the property to three. So I'm going to copy these and paste them several times uh, and then create the other controls as well. Welcome back. I managed to create all these controls uh, of the camera. Now our main task will be to create the uh, uh, commands uh, that uh, will help execute the different tasks each button is supposed to. When you double click a button in C sharp it depends with uh, the click event handler where you put code for a click uh, just in, uh, during runtime when uh, uh, user clicks how the button should behave. So I've double clicked this button now to give us the click event handler here it is now. Uh, so, button one, what do you want to do? We want to get uh, label one dot text. Label one dot text should be equal to uh, label one dot text concatenate with button one dot text we terminate this so what we are basically doing here is uh, we are looking at whatever is in label one uh, which is this one here actually I needed to change this and remove whatever is in there so if there is a two in here and I click a one it should get a two and then concatenate it with one so that I can get two one or twenty one this is not addition that's uh, concatenation because these are still strings. Uh, I'll do the same for button 2. Let me first copy this uh, code here. Uh, then I come back and double click button 2. Paste the same code. I need to change this to button 2 because this is a click event uh, for button 2. I'll now run our calculator and see how it behaves. Here we are right now. Uh, when we click uh, 1, the 1 is thrown there. When you click 2, it's thrown there. 2, 1, 2, 1. So we are able to concatenate or get whatever is in label 1. And then when you click 2, it adds it. Not adding, but it concatenates because addition is different. 2 and 2, when you concatenate, you get 22. But when you add 2 and 2, you get 4. Uh, these buttons are not yet working because we don't have any code behind them. So our next task is to add code behind all these buttons here. In programming, uh, there are several ways of doing the same thing. For example, instead of using this piece of code here, I could have uh, maybe said label one dot text uh, plus equals. Uh, text box 
not text box but uh, button one dot text then uh, I terminate this uh, this piece of code here you see does the same work as this uh, in uh, programming you need to use as little code as possible uh, to avoid confusion so I would delete this because uh, it's longer however we could even do one better than this we declare a button uh, a button right there we call it a button uh, numbers is equal to a button and it looks at the sender of the instruction then we terminate this uh, now uh, instead of uh, creating code behind each and every button we could just copy the click event of button one because for, for it it will be looking at the send of any button uh, let me first leave this I'll, uh, I'll explain it uh, later on but we don't uh, need this uh, as it is now we want to get the click event of uh, button one and uh, copy it behind all the other buttons uh, all we do in that case is uh, come here come to button two we come to events we get the click event and we select button one because it's the only one now with the click event some code we add behind the click event then we get the same and then put it there I'll do the same for all of these I went ahead and gave all these buttons the click event of um, uh, button one now uh, let me run the application and see how it behaves so when I click now, when I click 1, when I click 2, they all bring the same number that is 1 1 because they are using the click event of button 1. All I, what I needed to do is to change instead of uh, picking button 1 here, instead of button 1, I'll say, uh, I'll use the button I just declared there, uh, numbers dot text this should do the magic so now if I run the calculator uh, so we have a nine six five four all these are working zero zero I've not yet done the same for zero I'll come and uh, do that so I come here and then uh, change the uh, click event of uh, button zero to pick button one uh, all right uh, maybe let me change the alignment of this so that we have the numbers aligned to the right uh, we'll select it come to properties and then come to text align and pick uh, this one here that is uh, middle right now if you run it uh, take some time thinks about it okay here it is now we are well aligned so far looks good uh, now our main task is to uh, get these ones here and uh, uh, start making the calculations using the operators but before that I need to look at these two buttons let me first look at the decimal button now with the decimal button it's almost similar to uh, the other buttons but so what I need to do is to say uh, level 1 uh, dot text uh, plus equals button 10 uh, dot text but the problem with this is that when I click uh, the uh, decimal point for example I have 9 and 6 I click the small point yes I have a decimal point right there however I can include another decimal point which means I can include as many decimal points as I want I need to restrict that so that